What is going on, everybody? Welcome back for episode three of The Wolf Among Us. On the last episode, we just found out, uh, well, we found out a lot of stuff, so you're going to have to watch that. And uh, I really tried to avoid talking too much through it so that you can enjoy it as a story. And uh, we left off here making a decision. Now, there are three different decisions here, and I remember a lot of you guys actually found my channel because my decision in episode one to save Lawrence was a very... Like, un, like so, not a lot of people picked it, so I guess I'm making an effort at this point to either follow my instincts, which is actually Dee's office, and not Crane or Holly, because I feel like those are obvious ones. So that is my decision making here, I'm probably going to go back and watch other people's playthroughs and see what uh, Crane's and Holly's bar had to offer. But for now, we're going to go ahead and visit Dee. Dee and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. <laughs> anyway, welcome back everybody. I hope you're enjoying this series and I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys have been showing my channel. I can't believe how far we've come from when we first started. Uh, with that being said, I actually am curious to know when you guys found my channel. Um, whether it was maybe this game or... I don't know, maybe Diablo 3? Huh. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? <laughs> I love how you say, see a witch? They're in here right now. I'm not sure I feel like be back. maybe if I just talk to him directly, you know? Did you make an appointment? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. But Not I like too it bad. Here. Gotta stay busy, you know? Otherwise. Well, it's nice Otherwise, working here anyway. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I like that. <laughs> Enter I'm with kindness. Have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry, I won't get you in trouble, right? Right. <laughs> I wonder if you spotted that. I was gonna go sweep it now. <laughs> Sorry, fella. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> I feel like this guy is spying on me now that I think about it. They've just been so nice, you know? I'd hate to mess it up. Ooh, look at this. File cabinet you can Let's actually see check. They've got a file on a crane. Beauty. Oh, let's look at this. This is <laughs> Georgie has an interest. Thought. Wait till CM Shit. gives go ahead. What? These are all like oh, let's see here. Who is this? Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye Keep on an her. Eye on her. Hmm. That's what I said, Bigby. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you, Wolf. Cinderella. Curious about that one. Where's Cindy been? Christmas is somewhere in Europe. That's funny. She can afford it, I guess. What's this? Donkey skin. I think that's Lawrence. Alright, well. 
Lily, the and hen's I at the pudding and pie. For a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. I, I know nice, well that's all that. Off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be, in their line of work. Dee always tells me, you have to be assertive. Sometimes when people they're talk, you kind of just want to let them talk, Anyone you know? can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. <laughs> and you don't know them the way Bigby does. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. <laughs> Come on, man. That must be me. <laughs> I'm on a punching bag. I mean, I'm assuming it's me. Let's see, what's over here? Nothing specific. No, nope, nothing there. I know on the uh, first episode I missed a couple things and you guys totally called me out on that. So I, p I thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. You guys are paying attention. Don't touch. <laughs> Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. I'm totally playing these silent antagonists and or protagonists in this Something game. Here, I know there is. There has to be. I love the hats that are why on the wall. Be anything because to they're lying to you, okay, flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns, hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your? You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Grin both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? Oh, poor guy. <sighs> I, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here. But it might be what you're looking for. No flycatcher. This means you're gonna die, man. <laughs> I can examine that. Why? What was the purpose of that? It's so weird. Oh man, down the rabbit hole. Oh, he's real, like, silent footed there. Wow. Oh 
Okay, all right. Well, let's start an investigation now, shall we? Let's see here. ASAP. Let's see. Package. Crooked man. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who is he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? I don't like the way that angle is shot. Take money. I'm going to leave. I don't need that money. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using. Something. You know, I have to say, if they made a Batman game like this, where you actually use kind of detective skills, I would actually really enjoy that. Hey, Big B. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, Aww. you're nice. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the Woodlands. Really? That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? Let me continue my I investigation. I the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record. Might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Okay, I gotta make a decision here. I go to the trip trap. I'm gonna go where Bluebeard I'll go to was. Crane's apartment. See if there's an address or something there. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll you know what I love, guys? I love that no one here has a cell phone. <laughs> I actually really like that. Like, the sense of urgency is uh, heightened because you can't just, like, pick up a cell phone and call someone, you know? You actually have to pick up a phone and dial rotary. I love it! <laughs> That's such a smart choice, I feel. All right, let's do this. It's 1 a.m. 58 minutes left. I wonder if I'm actually being time. Oh. Everything. What? Why would he do that? Suspect. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest. It's not your fault, Puffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Why would he do that, you know what I mean? Twist in the story, it was all Buffkin. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I, I, I don't even know. Just speculating. Everyone's a suspect, you know?
That looks like the same clock from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Ah, I forgot his name. Crap. There was something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did the Tweedle brothers have any information about the witch? Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. That's strange. I can check the books for you. How long is that gonna take? If I haven't come across her name before, she's not going to be very easy to track down. I'll head over to the Trip Trap. Maybe I can get some information from Holly. Uh, but... What? After what happened at the funeral? She may not be too happy about seeing you. Are you sure this is a good idea? I have a job to do. I can't avoid Holly just because she might not like me anymore. If she ever liked you in the first place. Touche. Sorry. <laughs> Buffkin is... I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. Is a sweet going character. To be very disappointed. I think. Good luck. Like, really good intentions, but... Maybe likes common sense? I, I'm not entirely sure. He's missing something. <laughs> what do you guys think of the story so far? Who... Like, what do you think is motivating all this? Like, do you guys think it's Dr. C or Ichabod Crane? I mean... Like, all signs point there, but it could be... Misdirection, you know? How much time do I have left here? Due to bereavement. Interesting. <laughs> She's the hell? Sleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Can you what? Can I just... I don't know. Wait here for a bit. Until she wakes up. And what is going on? <laughs> what do I... We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Damn, I should have kicked the door down. Or hey, maybe not. look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? Is he on I drugs? Mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm in a good goddamn mood, so you should take advantage. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Brent, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. I thought they gave him juniper and something else. Mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. Oh, snap. Here he goes. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? 
Can't say you being there helped things much. Ren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend, Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with. I don't want to get loaded with him. Smack it's just a away. quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. I'm not gonna do anything. Just gonna let it sort of play out. I'm curious. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? Oh, this guy mellowed out. When Tweedledee came in here two nights ago, why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. I like that uh, poster in the back. Huff and puff cigarettes. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room. I don't know. But I wouldn't wake <laughs> her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe uh, ogres, too. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Gren won't remember this. That's funny. Alright, well, good to know. She has passed the F out. All right, well, let's look around here real quick and uh, make sure we don't disturb her first. Crate of alcohol. I don't know why I would check this first, but uh, why not? Uh oh Of course. What's over here? Caught. There it is. Come on, grab it. Grab it! 
Be quick. <laughs> the arm's gonna drop. Nope. Oh, we're good. All right. I don't know why he would look at it from in here. He might as well have like taken it out, you know? <sighs> that you, Woody? Oh, she likes Woody. Woody, is that you? Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. She's out. <laughs> Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. She is drugged out. I I'm just going to let her you talk. Were a friend. Anything else here? Maybe just just a photo, I guess. <laughs> Look at Tweedle D or Tweedle Dove in the back there. So funny. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin, and I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. <laughs> All right, let's keep it uh, investigating here. I love the detail in this game, man. And the color palette. I mean, I... I really Lily's wish I could draw like funeral. this. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he... If he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, I do. I really you do. I know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Will she remember that? I guess not. We're getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's, let's go. go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Nice. We uh, figured out a lot of things there. All right, guys, when we come back, we're going to go ahead and continue with the rest of the story. And I just want to say thank you all for all the support. And as always, I've enjoyed playing with you.